Hi, my name is Haley, and I'm going to teach you how to do the triple single. Materials you need. A loom. A hook. A stick clip. And rubber bands. These are the colors I'm using. Let's get started! Okay, when you start out with a loom, you always have the arrow pointing the other direction. For example, the arrow, the arrow is pointing that way, so it's the other direction. This is the correct way to start out your loom. Okay, you take your first color and put it along the one side like this. Keep going all the way down until you're done. done. There. There's your first row. Take your second color and do the same thing in the next row. Now, the two rows are done. You take your last color, which is my turquoise, you put it along the last row, like you did in the other two. And there's your three rows. Now let's go on to the next step. This that I made. You see the white coating under it? See? Well, that's the step we're going to do next. Depending on what colors you're using, the two under layers coating should be white or black. No other colors if it doesn't match. White black. I'm gonna go with white. Now, when you put these white rubber bands on, you want to skip a um, row, which I'll show you in the example. This is what you do. You skip these three pegs and go to the next three pegs. Because when you turn it around to loom it, that will end it back there. So the rest of the way down you do triangles, which I'll do with you. So you see the triangle? I'll help you. Mostly how I do it is I make a triangle like that. See? Then you keep doing it. So you do that triangle. And another triangle. Then another triangle. And so on. Keep doing triangles till the end. The only time you skip triangles is when you start out putting them on. Back. 
that one broke. See how that went? I only have two or three more to go. So we finished all of our triangles, and now it's time to start looming. Okay, now what you're going to do is take your turquoise from under the white, put it onto the next hook. Then you take the next turquoise, put it on the next hook. Do that all the way down until you get to the end. I'll show you like this. Okay, next we're doing the pink column. You do the same as you did the turquoise. Go under the white and take the pink. Just like this. Put on the next hook. It's all three columns done the way they were. Okay? Now we're going to add the extension. You have to pay very close attention. Now listen very closely. We're going to show you how to do the extension, which is a tiny bit tricky sometimes, but this is how it goes. Okay. Here's how we're going to do extension. You see the tiny arrow pointing? that way right there well this is the end that you do the extension on this is the part where you skipped it that you don't do so at this corner you're going to move this blue one under here and this green one on here I'll show you an example okay this is how we're going to do the extension take the teal or turquoise put it on the pink like that then you take the green just like the same. Put it on there like that. So you see all three it's on there. This next step is a little tricky. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a white rubber band, hold it right here, stick this hook through this tube right here. So you stick it through and pop it. So you stick it through, pop it out the side. Then you hook the white onto it, twist it, pull it up, and pull it through. Then roll it onto your hook, and then you can rip it, your bracelet off. This is my favorite part, you get to rip it off. But be careful, because sometimes some stuff might, might not be hooked all the way. This is our bracelet from today that we made. For the extension, you need five rubber bands, five white ones, should I say. And then, right where the arrow was last time, you just 
plop on the rubber bands along the side. See? Wait. Now, that's what you do. Then after you're done, all three of, all five of these, then you have to add your bracelet to it, which I'll show you. The end, not the end with the big circle, the end with the like the small hoop-de-loop, you want to put on here. This is what I did. I just put that hoop-de-loop thing on top of this way because the pointer is going this way. Then, so the pointer was going this way. Now we would turn it around. So what we would do is you would loom it to the next hoop or hook or whatever it is. And do that the rest of the way. This is what it looks like after you loom it. Once you're done doing all these in a loom, you take your C-clip and put it on this one. Do you put it on that one, you could hook it on the other end of this and your brace is done. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.